Hello everybody, Alzebo HD here, and welcome back to the Making Greece Great Again Fascist Greece Iron Man Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play series. That was quite the mouthful, wasn't it? Well, here we go. We're going to continue with the National Union of Greece, of course, being the fascist name and flag for Greece here in Hearts of Iron 4. So, last episode for those of you who have missed it. We have basically annexed all of Bulgaria, and we are currently on the warpath to taking Istanbul and declaring war on Turkey. Now, as you guys can see, we have 23 men, or 23 regiments of men in our army, 23 divisions, on the border with Turkey. We have just joined the Axis powers, meaning that we are allied with Germany, who is about to anschluss their way into Austria. And I think pretty soon would be a good time for us to strike and take our ancestral birthright, being the former Byzantine capital of Constantinople. <sighs> Excuse me. So right now, we are on the border with Turkey, and we are waiting for our organization to max out before we declare war. So that being said, let's go ahead and unpause the game and wait for our organization to max out. Now, of course, we don't really have our war preparation up just right now because our planned preparation attack bonus is not yet at 50%. So we're also going to wait for that to happen before we make our move. Now, that being said, we are still working on pumping out those military factories, which is a fantastic thing. And we've finally gotten fighters up and running. Very, very good for us. We're going to go ahead and work on that and take a few of our military factories off of the production line of infantry equipment and send them up to making some fighter planes for us. Now we've run into a problem because we are actually missing out on some rubber. So we need to trade for rubber with, a, with the different countries. I'm thinking I will probably trade with France or Siam, some neutral countries. Let's go with Siam for the moment. Somebody who's not going to be, uh, you know, turning uh, against me when I declare war on the Allied war effort in the future. We've got another free research uh, slot, which we will use to research uh, probably weapons, because we're going to need those since we have such a heavily, uh, you know, infantry-based army here. And I do apologize for the sniffles. I have very terrible allergies. Again, nothing new for those of you who are uh, in my channel. I'm going to try my best to edit those out, but it's a bit painstaking. A bit tedious, so maybe I won't be able to do it all, but again, excuse me. Uh, each of my breathing out of my nose, it makes that sound, so again, I apologize. So anyways, here we go. We are outside of Istanbul. We're ready to declare war. We're not exactly at 50% planned preparation, but it doesn't really matter, does it? The thing I'm most worried about is that I'm not exactly sure if our navy is going to be a match for the Turkish Navy. I'm not sure exactly if the Turks have uh, a bigger Navy than us. I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's through war. Now, with that being said, Italy has not yet joined the Axis. So, if we go to war with Turkey, we're going to be going to war with only the Germans at our back. And the only problem is, is that maybe, just maybe, the Germans might want to take some parts of Turkey for themselves in the peace deal. Of course, this is dependent on their war participation score, which will probably be quite a bit higher than ours. However, this is not a problem if we can only take Istanbul for ourselves and maybe a few other provinces in the peace deal conference. It's, of course, assuming that we win. So without further ado, let's go ahead and declare war. I mean, it's... Uh, been in the making for such for such a long time now we might as well get started I apologize I had just sneezed okay so here we go we're going to declare war on Turkey retaking our core state of course we're going to call in the Germans why not National Union of Greece has declared war on Turkey. Fantastic news for us, right? Well, this is the moment we've been waiting for. So, here we go. We're at war with Turkey. Of course, they probably have a much bigger uh, force than we've expected. Looking over here, they have a regiment of 44 to 81, which is incredible. Uh, definitely a lot more than I expected. But we're going to call in the Germans, who will be at our back. So, here we go. Uh, again, the, Tur the Turkish uh, units don't have all of the regiments at the border. But that's okay. Let's go get started here. Right. So we're going to go ahead and hit play, or activate the entire plan. Actually, I want to redo this. No, I don't want to do this. Okay, so it's fine. I was going to actually remake this video. Uh, I can't really breathe right now, so it's going to be a bit hard for me to commentate, but let's go for it anyways. So I've hit OK for the plan. All of our men are going to be moving in on Istanbul. So far, we're winning the battle. 
but I have a feeling that Turkey has a lot more regiments that they are not showing us immediately. They might have up to 81,000. Our intel is a bit shaky, but here we go. Let's go ahead and see if the Germans will bring in their men. I believe they will, assuming that they can get open border access through those neutral countries on the way here. So here we go. We're winning the battles. Very, very good. Again, I would very much like to take this territory for Greece, as this is something that is, uh, you know, been a, a bit of a historical... Uh, you know, point of contention between the two countries, especially modern-day Turkey and Greece, as we currently speak. We're currently pushing our way into Istanbul, but first we have to take Bursa and a few other neighboring regions. So let's go ahead and research something else. Uh, this is we're going to focus on, let's see, so in terms of industry, we're already ahead in terms of that. Let's go ahead and work on computing machines to increase our research speed. Always a very good thing to focus on. Speaking of the Germans, where are they exactly? Looks like they're sending men through the Mediterranean. They'll get there eventually, but it'll take a little while. Hopefully we can hold off until the German war effort gets here. But that being said, let's go ahead and recruit these two units over here that we've had in training for quite some time. We'll go ahead and assign them to a new squad with Field Marshal Charlios Canaris, and we're going to have them exercise just so they can kind of get their gear up and get trained just a little bit before we send them out into war, right? Well, that's the plan anyways. In terms of our Navy, let's go and see what they've been up to. Doesn't look like they've been in a battle yet, but that's uh, totally okay. No worries there. Let's go ahead and unpause once again. The war is going pretty quickly. I mean, again, we think that the, we think that Turkey has a lot more regiments that they're currently showing, and perhaps they're going to reinforce it before we take Istanbul. But the further we push ahead now, the better. And it looks like Germany has just annexed uh, Austria. They pulled off the Anschluss. Very, very good for our German allies. A bit closer to our borders now, so we can kind of reinforce each other, especially once Yugoslavia is out of the way in a future episode. So here we go, national focus, now that we're done with the army effort, I guess we can go ahead and focus on... Huh. I'm going to go with our national focus, I want to kind of go ahead and work on our fascism tree. Or maybe actually, let's go ahead and focus on getting some more factories before we do anything else. Because that's always going to be important. Of course, we've already lost quite a bit of men in this war, 151. And we've already lost uh, a few just by training our regiments, but that's okay. So far, so good. So our men are still winning, despite the odds here. I think our artillery are certainly uh, working in our favor here. Although, we're currently losing a battle over here. It looks like the Turks have set up quite a formidable force on the border region. Hopefully this won't turn around and cause trouble for us later on in the game. And it looks like the war is not going too well. Once the Germans get here, though, it should go a bit better. Of course, they have air superiority. I, I have no doubt that... Oh, no, we do, surprisingly. Looks like even with all of these units, Turkey still has less uh, air units than we do, which is somewhat surprising, actually, when you think about it. Okay, so, looks like we're going to take this. And if we can cut off the, you know, Turkish uh, front, that'd be very good. In fact, it looks like we might be able to take Istanbul in nine days. And if we were able to do that, that'd be fantastic. Let's go double check to see where the Germans are. Okay, so they're almost at Gibraltar, which means that they probably won't show up here for another two weeks, which means that we might be kind of screwed out of luck. Hopefully we aren't. But again, you never know. So Turkey's actually lost quite a bit more men than we have so far, which is actually a very good thing. And it looks like we might actually be able to take Istanbul, which is somewhat surprising, to be honest with you guys. Free military factory is fantastic. We're going to go ahead and set them up with making some tanks. Oh no, we haven't quite researched the tank that I want to produce yet. So, until then, we're going to go ahead and make more fighter plates. That'd be useful to do. And we have some free civilian factories, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and have them make some more military factories, as always. They kind of have them up around our border with Yugoslavia. That's fine for the moment. And that should be fine for right now. Of course, we can change that later on. So the fight for Istanbul is almost over. We've got three more days left in there. We've got a lot more men pouring into Istanbul. Hopefully we can take it. But uh, again, it's not so sure. And of course, once the Germans arrive, 
really anything, all bets are off the table, right? So, with that being said, we need to turn our focus to Yugoslavia, because in the future we will want to go to war with them. Um, we might as well start that pretty soon, maybe once we are, you know, obviously on the winning side of this war, because let's be honest, this war with Turkey might take a year, might take two years, might take even longer, you know, we really don't know, so... Let's wait for the war effort to kind of finalize. And it looks like the Germans actually have some planes over here. Yeah, that's a German cross, I believe. So the Germans are actually participating in the war somewhat already, which is a very good thing. Actually, quite a bit by bombing. Ah, so they're bombing the Turks. Very, very good for them. That's very, very fantastic for us. That must be why we have air superiority, because the uh, Germans are using our air bases. And look at this. A lot of German forces are coming from uh, Germany proper to help us out in the war effort, which is a very, very good thing. But I would like to take Istanbul myself, and hopefully we can snipe Ankara for ourselves as well, as that will give us the most amount of war participation. Now that being said, our army over here is almost trained, and we'll send them into the fray as soon as they're ready to do so. So far, so good. 14 more days on Istanbul, maybe 17 more days, it's a bit fluctuating. We're currently losing this fight, but that's okay. Our light tanks are up and ready to go, but we need to go ahead and research the medium tanks because I actually don't think I'm going to waste any production on L-Tank 2s. So let's go ahead and focus on M-Tank 1s. Very, very good. So it's very nice to have four production trees at a time. Very, very useful. And we're capturing some factories from this previous Turkish territory. Where are the Germans? The Germans are very close. They're actually, they're currently in my territory. This is going to make things quite a bit easier. And the Turkish have actually lost quite a bit more men than we have. I think our infantry equipment is a bit better. Uh, and on top of the German bombing, this makes things a lot easier. So here we go. Now that the Germans are here, uh, we should just melt through the enemy opposition. At least that's the plan. Assuming we can get our hands on Istanbul. Eastern Balkans. Yeah, okay. So I think these troops are already ready to go. They are. So we're going to switch them out. By stopping, unassigning, oh, I can't exactly unassign them because our other army already has 23 out of 24. So let's go ahead and send them out over here. We're going to manually control these units. That's all right. Hopefully these things will help out. And now that the Germans are here, we should be able to melt through the enemy line. At least that's the ideal. Again, we're not exactly sure how this is going to go because now we're currently losing some battles. But we might lose a battle, we won't lose the war. At least that's my guess. Of course, this would have gone a little bit smoother if Italy was here, but it's not too bad. It looks like the Turks have reinforced Istanbul a little bit. That's not too bad. Now that we have the German war effort behind us, things should be a bit easier. As we slowly make our way into Turkey, right? Well, that's the thing. Hopefully, the Turks or the Germans actually open up a front in uh, Anatolia. It looks like they're about to do that, so that's fantastic. And furthermore, our research is almost done with support weapons too, which should increase our combat efficiency by a little bit. At least that's what I'm hoping. While we work on the fight here outside of Istanbul. Which we're currently losing. Okay, so I apologize, my microphone was actually disconnected from my computer for like a split second. So what I was saying was not registered, but that's okay. We're currently recording the video and uh, the audio is back on the line. So what I was saying is we're currently fighting outside of Istanbul. Uh, very indecisive battle so far, but the good news is that we have quite a bit of units tacking over here off of the flank of Istanbul. So if any thing goes according to plan. We should be able to take this city in, you know, about a month, maybe a little bit less. We'll see. Looks like Turkey is sitting all of their men behind the war effort over here, so again, not too surprising either way. Where are these units? Over here, they're attacking. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we can modify our government this time. This time we're going to be modifying it by probably adding an industrial concern. This will increase, I guess, our research time for industrial things. Although, I guess it's not as important right now because we're a bit ahead in terms of industrial capacity. Why don't we focus instead on something that will benefit us a bit more? Like artillery. We have artillery in most of our, uh, you know, units. Let's go ahead and do this. Increase our artillery attack and artillery defense is much better. That's fine. Of course, we can change that later. So... 
So far, again, uh, unsurprisingly, our war participation is dwarfed by the mass of Germany. And I'm hoping that Germany left some troops back at home. They did. They have lots of units still over there on the French border. But they're not going to be making any, you know, drastic offensives into Poland for the time being, which is totally okay. We lost 16,000 units. Oof, bit sketchy. But we'll get there in a minute. So we're winning all of our battles now, which is fantastic. Hopefully we'll get there in a little bit. And we have, of course, naval superiority. Although I'm not exactly sure how to, uh, you know, best use that for myself. Why don't we go ahead and open a front, actually, with these units over here. We're going to go ahead and tell them to... Uh, let's see. Well, we can go ahead and deploy these units as well. Yeah, why don't we get these guys to go back over here. We're going to actually have them open up a front over here in the heartland of, of uh, Turkey, off of the western coast. And uh, hopefully set up another front. At least that's the ideal. I'm not sure exactly how that will turn out. We're going to sit you guys back over here. That's fine. And, of course, you guys are going to join our army as well. So, we're going to set these guys up over in Athens. And we're going to tell them that their uh, offensive line is just going to be pretty small, actually. This might be a, a drastic failure, but we're going to set up the offensive line over here. Uh, let's see. Edit mode, garrison area, fallback line. Naval invasion order, yeah. So, we're going to go from Athens and over into... This is not a valid province for invasion. Why not? Okay, you know what? I actually don't really understand invasion plans at all, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and invade, uh, I don't know, let's say over here, right? Okay. So, now that that's set up, I believe our orders are good. No, I don't want to delete that. That's fine. Okay, so back over here. Everything's going to plan, which is fantastic. The research is not available. Uh, let's see what we're going to do over here. We should probably work on motorized um, supply line, or rather motorized troops. This would be very, very useful in the future. Uh, and we haven't really done it yet. Or actually, why don't we go to work on doctrines? Because we already have uh, we have 50% reduction in that, so that's very good. Let's see. Let's go with... Uh, I have two ideas. We can either go with superior firepower, which will give us some benefit to our artillery, which we're already, uh, you know buff it up pretty well. Or we can go with Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, which I think is the best. This will give us entrenchment, and it will also give us a lot more uh, max planning in the future. So why don't we go with Grand Battle Plan? It'll take 120 days. That's great. No worries there. And it looks like we'll take Istanbul in about a month and a half, if all things go according to plan, which th hopefully they will, with any luck. Aha. Uh -huh. So Germany has actually gone ahead and opened up a front over here in mainland uh, Turkey, which is very good, actually. We're going to get our troops and move them there. No, 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 not that way, not that way, not that way. We don't want them to go through Turkey to get there. That would be a disaster, really. All a good time, right? All a good time. Actually, we're currently losing this battle over here. See, the problem with Hearts of Iron 4 is I'm not exactly sure where to micromanage my men and when to do it, but Germany is just dominating through Turkey right now, which is fantastic. And they've gone ahead and reduced the amount of uh, mid by quite a bit here. That's of our battle with Istanbul. We actually might want to go ahead and see these mid back up here. Cancel the orders. The reason why I do this is because we're currently losing the battle of Istanbul because Germany seems to have moved all their mid from it. So let's go ahead and move our mid back. And hopefully we can take Istanbul in the future. If everything goes according to plan again, once again. <sighs> Excuse me. So, yeah, Turkey's kind of left its, or rather, Germany's kind of left its high and dry over here as they move all of their men back into Germany for some reason. Uh, yeah, this is not looking too good, guys. Not looking too good. But hopefully we'll get there in a minute. Move these men back over here. Excuse me. So yeah, our men are not even pushing forward, really. I guess it's because they realize that the defending army has a lot more strength. Well, for whatever reason. 
But Germany is just dominating Turkey at the moment with the front that they've opened up. Quite impressive, really. Excuse me. So yeah, we only have 10 attacking division compared to their 12. Uh, that's why we are currently losing. So we're going to put our guys over here. And send them into attacking over here. Because once we open up multiple fronts, we should be able to help out our men uh, attacking Istanbul. Ah, uh, here we go. Very good. So we've actually taken some territory over here. And we've actually cut off their pocket, which is fantastic. We set up a pocket with the Turks. Very, very cool. Uh, we almost have enough to research an extra research slot, but for the time being, we don't, so that's okay. Let's see. So, for now, we should probably go ahead and research uh, Nationalism Focus, so we can kind of go down this way. Eventually, we'll get some good, nice goodies over there. For the time being, we do not. We just that medium tank. Fantastic. Again, I don't really want to produce tanks until I get that. So, for the time being, we're going to be producing guns. Doesn't require that much in terms of resources, and we're going to need lots and lots of guns. So, so far, so good, right? Attack into there. We need as many men as possible attacking into Istanbul and the surrounding area. Zog switched to Italy. Ooh, Zog is the leader of Yugoslavia. I think he just... Oh, no, Albania. Okay, so Albania has ceded territory to Italy, unsurprisingly. I know a few of you guys in the comments section below have asked me in previous videos to invade uh, Albania before Italy took it, but that would have called in Italy to the war, and I really don't want to bring Germany and myself into a war with Italy, because that would just weaken the Axis power. So you know what? They'll get some stretch of land over here in the Balkans, but that's okay. We'll largely ignore that for the time being. Excuse me. It's interesting because once you've made a pocket uh, of enemy forces, when they're stuck, uh, you know, surrounded by your territory or whatever, they get a much uh, larger reduction in their power of supply lines. So right now, we're probably going to cut through this little pocket like Swiss cheese. As you can see, it's just it's going incredibly in our favor. Of course, the battle for Istanbul is not, but we'll get there in a minute. Germany's done a very good job opening up a front in Anatolia proper. Okay, so we saw these men popping into this little territory over here. Affected by attrition, fantastic. Okay, so probably going to recruit a little bit more units. Of course, they're green, but that's okay. Let's them over here. Let's come up with my flaking squad. These guys are not very experienced, but they'll get experienced fast enough. At least in battle, they should be. And the goal is to be sending more men into battle. So actually, we have almost no manpower whatsoever. So next time we get political power, we're going to go ahead and change up the conscription laws to get more men into the front. But for the time being, I want all of these men to go over here and attack Istanbul. Once they finally get there, right? And we'll wait for them to kind of heal up their organization. And attack into here. This should go quite well. I think we'll be able to take Istanbul very, very fast. At least that's the hope. Turkey only has a 55% national unity. So it should be pretty quick once we take their capital. Uh, the surrender, that should be anyways. Hopefully, however, we do get a say in the peace deal. Germany, of course, has quite a bit more territory and quite a bit more war participation score than we do. But here we go. We've almost taken Istanbul. This is what we've been waiting for. There we go. Greek has Istanbul. Fantastic. So here we go. Free military factories, of course, for conquering the territory. We get two. We'll send one on planes. And we'll send one on... I don't know. Maybe more artillery. Because we're going to need those in the future, right? We also have free dockyards. So let's go ahead and make some more submarines, right? Why not? We can always use more submarines. We do have the resources for it, so that's okay. Right, so here we go. We are officially out of manpower at this point in time, but that's okay. Okay, so we're just defending right there. So, that being said, we need to go ahead and set up the front line. The front line will just be in Istanbul for the time being, right? So, front line, Istanbul. Yeah. Okay, so, in addition, let's go ahead and set up our offensive line which will be basically in an effort to relieve our German friends down in the south. So that's your orders. You guys are going to have the same exact orders. 
Uh, front line first, okay. Why can't I draw front line here? Am I missing something? Uh, probably as all my units aren't there yet, so we're gonna wait for them to get there, that's fine. Let's let our units rest up a little bit, increase their organization, and then we'll move out once again. So once everybody is ready, that's great. Of course, we've taken some casualties over here. Our organization's a bit lower, but that's all right. And of course, we are defending quite well. So available planes and reserves, we have some more fighters. Let's go ahead and put them up over here. I don't know, let's say over in Plovdiv. And create a brand new air wing for them. Okay, okay. We're going to wait for them to deploy over there. Now that they are, we're going to have them set up on an air superiority run, just like the other planes. Hopefully that will help out in the war effort somewhat. And we're going to wait for the plan uh, preparation bonus to kick in. It's working for most of these guys. And again, the Germans are keeping the Turks busy down here in the south. Hopefully they stay down there with any luck. All right, now, are, are you guys all here? Yeah, you guys are all here. We're gonna scrap your plans, delete orders. Okay. So, front line. Gonna be over here in Istanbul, yep. So now we can set up our offensive orders. These guys are just going to be used to basically do exactly the same thing. Uh, set up an offensive line over here. Can I not do that? I cannot do that. All right, we'll, we'll just follow the main force with those guys, it's fine. Not a big deal. So, it's time that you guys actually do so. Oh, we got another free military factory. Fantastic. We'll use that to go ahead and make some... Huh. Some more fighters. Can never have enough of those. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and execute the main battle plan. Once they are ready. So, here we go. Uh, battle lasts less than one day. That's fantastic. And you guys as well. Go ahead and move over there. That was going to last for quite a while, but that's okay. Hopefully we don't take too many casualties across the boss for a straight. That'd be pretty bad if we did. We have 27 divisions attacking, they have 15 divisions defending. But again, this is a boss for a straight that we're talking about, so might be a bit of a problem crossing this. Hopefully everything works out for our men. And unfortunately... My timer just went off, so this is actually the end of episode 3. I guess stay tuned for episode 4. We should be able to, with any luck, take out more of Turkey. Especially, actually, if we reevaluate our strategy currently. I think instead of going across the Bosphorus, it would make more sense if we keep some men defending the Bosphorus and perhaps help Turkey over here and Anatolia and push for Ankara. So, again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for episode 4. Um, and I, so much, I apologize, guys. I mean, I realized this episode, you know, I was sniffling, really bad allergies. I'm so sorry, guys. Stay tuned. Next one will be better, I promise. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.